Each year, approximately 1.3 million students fail to graduate from high school, and more than half those students are students of color. This means that one student drops out every 26 seconds. Overall, these people who drop out of schools earn $260,000 less than people who graduate high school. Low attendance or failing grades can identify future dropouts, and in some cases, future dropouts can be predicted as early as 6th grade. Well, I've been principal of this school for two years, but I've been a principal of two other schools. So this is my ninth year. Is it hard or is it easy for you? Uh, I think it's hard, but it's fun. So I really like my job. Uh, that's, it's a little hard for me to understand because that's not something that I've experienced. Um, but I think one thing is when students don't feel they're good at school, they don't like to go to school. And so one of the things is when it's, when it's not a fun place to be and you don't think you're good at it, you might want to stop going. And then I also think sometimes students may be having problems outside of school that they're thinking about all the time when they're in school, and that distracts them from being successful at school. Did you know any students? What do you think about students that think about dropping? And what would I say to them? Um, I would say to them that you feel right now like you want to give up. But don't give up on yourself. Staying in school, even though it feels so hard, will have such a positive effect on your future that you need to do it. And something that feels impossible to you right now, if you keep trying, it won't be impossible. Over one-third of all dropouts choose to drop out in ninth grade. In the cities with the highest dropout rates repeat up to 40% of ninth graders repeat ninth grade. Of those, only 10-15% to will go on to graduate from high school. number one reason is that they give up and think school is something that they're not good at. They start to think they're going to fail, so they just drop out before it actually happens. But they're wrong. They could pass, but they give up. How do you think, what do you think about kids that drop out? How do you think it affects their lives? I think it makes their lives a lot harder. They don't realize how much harder it's going to make them. It's harder to get a job. When they do get a job, it's harder to get a good salary. So it's going to make their whole life much more difficult. They don't think about that at the moment when it happens. They're probably just thinking about the next day and the next week and the next month. And they're not thinking into their future. So what has inspired your passion for students? Well, fairness is very important to me. And so when I was younger, I got to go to a private school, kind of a fancy school. It was considered a great school. And at the same time, I've worked in schools in New York City and all kinds of places that weren't great schools. That's really not fair. Every single kid in the world deserves a great school. Many students are not given the extra support they need to make a successful transition to high school and are lost in the ninth grade. High school dropouts can make up nearly half of the heads of households on welfare. In the U.S., High school dropouts commit 75% of crimes. On average, only 50% of students in America's 50 largest cities make it up to graduation. So, thank you so much for your time, Principal Saban. Is there anything else you would like to say? Uh, sure. I'll say one more thing. This is about when you're grown up. That what you should remember, and this is one reason education is so important, you have to go to work every day of your life, or hundreds of days every year, from the time you're 20 to at least 60. That's 40 years. So it's very important to find a kind of job that you like to do. Just think how many days that is. You're a grown-up going to work for a lot longer time than you're a kid. It's easy to forget that when you're a kid. So I get to come to school every day. I really love my job. I'm so lucky because every day I come to work, I know I have a good job and I like doing it. And so whatever it is that you end up doing, 
It should be something you like to do. And education helps you have more choices. That's one of the answers to your first question. If you drop out of school, you probably have to take whatever job you can get, because you'll be lucky to get a job. But if you have a very high level of education, you can choose. And think of thousands and thousands of days that you have to go to work. Would you want it to be something you like doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. And education helps give you choice. You might want to do any kind of thing, be an architect and build things, be a teacher and work with kids, be in construction and work with your hands and, and, and you know, create something. But if you have an education, you can choose. And if you don't, you just have to take what you can get. And so that's one way that education makes your life so much better. Yeah. Think that's good advice? Yeah. That's the same advice I give my kids. <laughs> Let's go. If I had a friend that dropped out, I would tell them that it's bad to skip um, to jobs out of school because it's not going to complete their life and they're not going to get a good job and it's not going to get them all a lot of money to where they want to be. I had a friend that wanted to drop out. I would tell them not to because it's a bad start for them and I think they would want to have a good job. And if they want to have a good job, then they have to not skip. And if they want to have a good life and have family and everything, they have to be... They have to go to school and finish it and do everything they can.